just tight on there. Right. right? You basically slam that thing in there. So that's one way of mounting that interview. Okay. Now for a lesser experienced guy. For a lesser experienced guy, you basically st stick that thing in there like you did, yep. and then just let the thing kind of push it on. You know, push it exactly. And, so, and what we do, so we do all the training with this as well. So here's the, here's the cool part about this. So you see where I got that hook down there? Yeah. i seen that tool's optional too, right? So with, the, with our, what we call our premium machine, so this is where everybody gets, gets stuck. That's where you tear your beads. That's okay. why I use the hook. You can't do that with a roller. Because I'm looking at this right here, because the last thing I want to do is damage somebody's wheel or tire. That's it for mounting. And then when you pull back, see, see right there, it looked like that would rip. Okay, so you just lower it a little I just bit. Just lower it down. Okay. Now, a lot of times I'll go and I'll loop this as well, so that way this is looped, the tire's looped, and the wheel's looped. So when you're ripping beads, is when you have basically the okay, and, and you're ripping it on the wheel itself. Yeah. So what? A lot of times you get the, uh, the aluminum wheels where they've been around for a long time. You'll see that kind of U-shaped, the half press. Down, right. Have two sharp edges. Right. Right. As it's coming across or it's mounting on, it just turns into a razor as knife. It, as it rolls over, as a bead rolls over, it cuts that, and then you, then it tears the bead. So it typically won't do it on a new wheel. Not usually on new wheels. It's just on something that's a little bit more worn. Older casing that have been on, right. say one or two caps. Okay. They're where they're getting really brittle, and that, okay. and that bead flange, that bead angle, starts getting really brittle. Right. That's where you see a lot of the beads. So the new pliable stuff will be fine. Typically, you don't see as much with the okay. new stuff unless you're not using it correctly. Okay. So again, the last demo was on. He tried to push. He tried. He was doing something, and he actually pushed the hook right to the side of the tire. See, was, that's what I would be worried about. Yeah. And push it at the same time. I said, no, you got to have that you gotta have that hook inside on the back side yeah. of the bead. See, that's what I was talking it, about with rolling on. this thing in without having the other one on there. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd be worried about that coming into your casing and basically trying to force it and rip into your casing. So that, that's why part of the, the equipment is actually getting us guys that are doing this for a long time between myself right. and Jeff and, and Mike. And all the other guys, we, we've done tires for a long time. It's not like this is our first order. Right. We came from like selling clothes or whatnot to now selling equipment. Right. We've been, I've been in the business since 97. He's been in the business since 1990. He's your old. Yes. <laughs> so, again, like I said, we've all been tire changers yeah. for a long time in our life and decided, you know, tire change wasn't for us, but we'll sell the equipment if we know it so well. We all the tire. Okay. The reason being is that, yes, it's, I'm moving the wheel, which is getting the outside bead, but as we push from the back out, that back bead is going to hit that move at the same time, right. and it's going to dismount itself. Okay. Now, I've seen a guy basically mount a tire like this up, basically all at the same time, in one motion. Yep. You can do it. I can't show it too often unless you guys have some experience with it. Right. Just because it, it kind of can confuse some people. Yeah, it was pretty slick when I was watching it. Is it just that front one? Yeah. Once this drops down, you come in here. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty slick. Pretty slick, huh? So then again, here if we come here like this. I'll put this, so I see the hook right there, right? You right. see the hook? Yeah. This one's, this one's a little more challenging.
dog. It doesn't want to go in like I usually have it, which is fine. So if I were to... Well, not every tire is made by Michelin. <laughs> Brent, if you can do it, anybody can do it. And cast your next. What? You're so cute. Oh, sorry. I got distracted for a second. So that's rotations, that's left and right. I always like going up on it. I just do it the same way every single time. Just get in the habit of it. Yeah. So hold this here. What would be the reason why you want to go the other way? Yeah, I don't know. Some I, guys like A, some guys like B. Yeah. It's so. Preference. So this is what you're going to look at. So you're going to stop that right there. You want to look at this bead right here. See yeah. how this bead's coming out? You're going to take that top and come out just attach this way. See how it's relieving the pressure off of that? Yeah, exactly. That's what you want. So rotate it up a little more. Uh, bottom one, very oh. bottom. Yep. And then you just you just take this guy, roll it back, and then drop it down. Put lube on it. He usually flips over, or just drop it down. Okay. If we got this, I wouldn't want anybody to use it. I know. It's gonna be in the back truck seven, isn't it? Oh, it's not. Maybe. Yes, I'm driving around the trailer behind the shop truck. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Do you want to lube that head at all? So it's obviously grease on the inside. You got grease fitting in there. Yeah. So that, that thing's gonna, you know, spin nice and free anyway. So this looks like that. So with that top, keep rotating it. You're looking for this drop center to drop in the drop center. This be the drop in the drop center like that. And then you're gonna start gaining grip right here. That's yeah, you can see right now, it's completely squeezed up. So rotate it. Just push it and you can tap it. So you're coming off both together now. So it's okay to bring them both off at the same time? You like it? Huh? <laughs> He's still pretty young. Good, 10 and nice in your uh, fingers. Yep. <laughs> 